Good morning, New York traders. Privateer FX coming at you for the New York Open. Market got caught long sterling today. CPI was weaker. We saw this thing go from uh, 142.70 down to 141.73. We're back at 142, the figure area. Uh, looks like a sell on rally still, um, but the main, anyone who was long has been knocked out of this trade, so sort of the fast money is, uh, has been gone. If you look at it on the dailies, it looks like we're just going to print some red bars here, one, two, three, maybe four red bars. This is the second, um, so you might want to sell high ones in cable, see how that goes. But uh, more importantly, let's look at dollar CAD. We got the BOC today. This is a very, very important level 12626, 200 day moving average, bunch of daily highs there. We've printed a new high today, so we'll see where we are in three hours' time just before the BOC. But if they're dovish, uh, we do like this level here. If they're hawkish, uh, you just close your eyes and sell through 125.27. It'll become bearish and golfing down there. That is sort of what I would call the illogical side of this trade, which probably makes it a little bit more appealing because this is FX. Um, so you just got to be open minded. You trade the logical one if they give you the news, which is ammunition to trade it. You trade the illogical one, because everyone will get fucked uh, if that does happen. So you got your two entry points. Try and go in with balance and see what you can do. Let's take a look at Euro. Talk about getting fucked. Um, TPI weaker, down to 42 this hour. This was 54 minutes ago. And then we kind of printed 74. I really thought we were going to see some Euro Yen selling on this week number, which we did. We got down to 40. And now we've come back up here. We're at 68, so it's more neutral. But this weaker CPI leads me to believe that this sideways movement we're getting here between 133 and 132 is going to be resolved soon. Again, uh, you want to be open-minded to both sides. 132.10 is the downside. 133, the figure is the upside. Massive risk-on story helps on the upside. Massive risk-off story helps on the downside. CPI is helping uh, on the downside, even though prices basically remain unchanged for now. And let's go to our friend, the Aussie. We got through 50 today, and now we've printed a low of 45. The story is definitely not here. The technical picture kind of is. You have the 200 hour at 44. You have all these lows at 40. So we are going to trade this. Uh, we are going to open shorts through 40. And either hope that we get lucky with a piece of news or hope that the technicals are strong enough to carry this trade through. We will trade it with a little bit more vigor, uh, a little bit more leverage if the story uh, sort of supports what's happening. So for instance, if the BOC is dovish and dollar CAD screws higher, this will add some more downward pressure on Aussie. If we're risk off, this will add some more downward pressure on the Aussie. If there's news out of China, you see what I mean. So you just have to be prepared and open minded. And right now, we're not going to plunge, uh, as they like to say in Jesse Livermore's book. Uh, but we will be ready to plunge if all the ducks line up. Elsewhere, equities have done nothing. We're just sitting here at the highs, 27, 11 and a half. Bitcoin's up mildly, 8,100. Same thing here, 
we're getting out of some of the longs that we accumulated at 7200 trying to get a better average ethereum same chart um, and last a little bit note on nimic my favorite crypto in the world gotta say what a disaster that's been uh, four days into it the mining uh, on the on the browsers is woefully slow we're talking hash rates that would take months to mine coins uh, you can see the community is losing faith in this we haven't lost faith yet but we do have to acknowledge that it certainly hasn't opened and uh, started the way we wanted it to start so we're keeping a we're keeping an eye on it and of course the mining just helps you stay in touch with the community it doesn't cost you anything except for the electricity which most of us can afford um, but looks like uh, privateer FX has laid an egg on this one um, but we'll have to see we're gonna stick with it uh, we do like the team. We do love the idea. The execution looks looks a little bit wonky for now. But we'll stick with it and keep you posted on any developments. Cool. Talk to you guys later. Good luck. Bank of Canada today. Ciao.